Hello Earthlings, welcome back to the channel. My name is Andy, speaking to you under the guise of my stargazing pseudonym, The Uncommentator. Now, a long, long time ago, I can still remember recording a video for this channel where I played through this game, Star Fox, and I completed it, but I did it using the level 1 path. And I remember thinking at the time, or I may have actually said it on the video, that I really wanted to try and do a playthrough of all three paths. So level 1, level 2 there at the top, and level 3 at the bottom. However, I was so bad at the level 1 uh, path that I didn't expect to ever be in this position that I'm currently in today where we're going to be recording a successful run through of the uh, of Star Fox using the level 3 path. So without any further ado, let's crack straight on with it. Go straight into Corneria. Now, with respective of the uh, course that you choose to take, you always start off on Corneria. However, the uh, level 3 Corneria is quite a bit more challenging than the uh, level 1 and 2. So we'll see that uh, as we go through. It's also uh, quite a bit different, and not just because the sky is orange, which you will see in a second. There we go. I say, I say, more, I say more challenging. It's just, it's just different, basically. Um... Well, I say different. I mean, they, you still have to do the same thing. So basically, you have to blow things up and not get blown up. Uh, so that's still the same. But um, but uh, that aside, there is quite a lot of different... The, the composition of the level is uh, quite different. I suppose for want of a uh, less pompous term. We don't blow that satellite up for some reason. One thing that is the same, though, is you need to get the wing blasters. And to do that, you need to go... Underneath the four archways, so that's the third one. As you can see, they're at a slight angle. The second and third one makes it a little bit trickier. There's the fourth one. So now, if you look at the left corner of the screen, we go to the left, behind this blue door. We'll see the uh, we'll see the wing blasters. There we go. So without going under the four archways, we don't get the wing blasters, but we did. So we do. There we go. Took some shooting down for some reason. On to now the blue towers. Blue towers. <laughs> that was a parody of uh, Blue Flowers by Doctor Octagon. If anyone was wondering there, even for me that was a, uh, even for me that was a bit spurious. No offense, Doctor, if you're watching, which I know he is. He's a big fan of the channel. He particularly enjoyed my uh, rock and roll racing playthrough. Uh, so thank you for the support doctor. Of course other songs are available One thing that is noticeable on uh, level three is you seem to have to save your comrades a lot more often Than you do uh, Than you do on level one and two But it's all good stuff. We're all one big happy family. I'm more than happy to uh, bail out my brothers Right, shoot you, get the Nova Bomb. Okay. More blue towers, I think, in a second. Yep, yeah, there we go. We'll duck underneath those. The attack carry will be mine. Will it indeed, Falco? Well, I'll remind you that you said that once we've gone underneath the arches. So we'll go to the left. So if you go to the right at that point, you can collect another Nova Bomb. You may have seen it. Um, but the most amount of Nova Bombs you can have at any one time is five. So if you've already got the five Nova Bombs like I did, there's no real point. Although if you've got a full shield, I suppose there's no point going left. You could argue. So, already at the end of the uh, end of the stage, just the, uh, the enemy battle to come. I'm assuming this is the attack carrier that uh, Falco was talking about. Although, where is Falco? He said he was going to take care of this. Clearly, he isn't. So it's like a six-part. Um, it's a six-part uh, battle. This one, I guess. Well, six, but you know, it's six, uh, six things to destroy. Um, right, got to you. Because if you get rid of the, uh, if you don't get rid of, if you don't get rid of the lid. If you don't get rid of these lids that fly up, it actually regenerates the uh, the things underneath, the heat seeker fire things. 
So it's quite important to uh, get rid of those lids. And the last lid, for some reason, fly, can fly past you, but it didn't on that occasion. Just one left to go. Yeah, the normal uh, the normal Corneria boss battle is that kind of three in one thing. There we go. The one that's got like a like it's like a got a DVD drive type thing. <laughs> Who remembers those that kind of opens and spaceships fly out of it? But um, anyway, we don't need to worry about that now because we um, we've defeated the uh, defeated the battle carrier. That stage went out of the way. And we can now move on to stage two. Hundred percent hit record somehow. Not that I'm uh, particularly bothered what the score is. So the same stage two as on level one, which is asteroid. However, that's the only similarity between those two uh, stages. This one is quite a little bit more challenging than the uh, than the level one one, as you would expect. Now, for some reason, I don't know why this game does this, but on these uh, levels where you're flying throughout a space, your ship defaults to the uh, to that kind of first person view. And I really don't know why it does it. Uh, there must be a reason for it. I don't know. But I, anyway, I prefer the... Uh, obviously, because uh, I've changed the view. I prefer the normal view. I prefer to be able to actually see the ship. I just find it... I just find it easier. Uh, I just find it easy to navigate through if I can actually see the ship. There we go. Unveiled a, uh, a ship there from behind a uh, asteroid. Then didn't blow it up. That wasn't very really good, but then we got there in the end. Yeah, I just find it easy to actually be able to see the, uh, the sh see the spaceship. Of course, if you do prefer the other view, you can use it at any point. It doesn't just, uh, it's not just limited to these outer space levels. Um, you can use it, uh, you can use it on the planet levels as well. Uh, so, like Cornea, the one we've just done, or, uh, or Fortune, which is coming up next. You can use it on any one of those. Right, need to get these wing blasters. There we go. Now the parte is underway because we've got the full, uh, got the best uh, wing blasters now. We've got the f top, uh, the top bullets, whatever you want to call them. Ooh, despite that, still got hit by something, which we shouldn't have done. It doesn't matter because there's a nice shield boost just right on cue. Also marks as a checkpoint that, uh, so if we do end up getting blown up, which I don't think we will, we won't start the level again. We'll just go back to the uh, the checkpoint. Also, I said earlier, I think I said on the uh, battle carrier battle, <laughs> uh, I mentioned heat seekers. If I ever say heat seekers, what I mean is those white things with kind of the blue and red outline bullets that fly towards you. Um, we'll see there those basically. We'll see some in a second. There we go. That basically, that that thing that's just hit me. I don't know if they are called heat seekers, but that's what I uh, that's what I refer to them as. It just seems like a good name for them. So um, if I ever say heat seekers, that's what I mean. Right, the second asteroid field now. It's a little bit more awkward this one. So much like the uh, any asteroid field on this game, you can't shoot the uh, the grey asteroids. Well, your camera doesn't do anything, so there's not much point. So you just have to uh, fly around them. Also on here, there's some... Uh, as you can see, there's some grey asteroids with faces on them. Now, um, they actually uh, follow you, so uh, you need to try and avoid them if you can. You can, of course, destroy the red asteroids. Right! On to the second enemy battle. And for the second stage in a row, we get a different enemy battle than we're used to at this point. So for this one, you have to basically uh, avoid this triangle by doing that, and then shoot the six jutty out things that are behind the uh, behind the propellers. I was going to say just like that, but we didn't manage to uh, shoot it that time. So the best way to avoid this triangle is if you go to an extreme position on the screen. So I like to go to the bottom right hand corner, wait for it to start flying towards you, and then basically. Um, and then basically fly out of the way of it. Much like that. If you do get caught by the uh, if you do get caught by the triangle, what it does is it sticks to you and means you can't move. Um, 
Also, I think, as well, um, as well as sticking to you, the, uh, the propeller then, then comes loose, comes away from the ship, and flies towards you, and I think can do a bit of damage to you. Now, if you do get stuck in the triangle, if you do a barrel roll, you will, uh, you will break free. Because you can't move and you can't shoot bullets while you're stuck in it, so, uh, quite important not to get stuck. There we go. Quite easy, that one. One thing as well that's worth mentioning on that uh, particular battle is um, if you don't have the top wing blasters, for some reason, when you get to that boss battle, as well as firing the triangle at you and everything that it's just done to me there, it also f fires these like icy blue lasers at you. And th those lasers are quite devastating. If they hit you, they can do quite a lot of damage. So it's really, really important to have the full wing blasters when you get to that battle. Because th like I said, those blue lasers, which obviously you couldn't see there, because I had the full wing blasters. They're quite damaging, so that's just something to be aware of. Anyway, moving on to stage three, Fortuna. Now, I've never been to outer space, but I imagine that if I did, that is what Earth would look like from that vantage point. Which is quite appropriate, really, because this level, this stage, so I believe, is supposed to kind of replicate Earth. So there's not many spaceships on this level, it's more us against nature, us against wildlife, basically. Us versus the world, quite literally. So there's three terrains, there's a grass terrain, a water terrain, and a sand terrain. As you can see at the minute, we're on the uh, the grass terrain. The only spaceships are the ones that, um... There are still spaceships, but the only spaceships are the ones that you have to protect your, uh, protect your teammates from. Whereas what we have to do is really just avoid the wildlife, or avoid the, uh, avoid nature, basically. So we have to fly around the plants, avoid these dragonflies, one or two other things that we need to do. So they sprout about the ground at random. Well, I say random, they're probably, it's probably the same place every time, but you don't learn what it is. More heat seekers there, so there are some, uh, there are some spaceships. Please go away. Right, we now move on to the water terrain. As you can see by the uh, the change of colour. Although, why is the sea blue when water itself is uh, clear or transparent, translucent, whatever you want to use? I'm sure somebody a lot cleverer than me can explain that, but um, just something to think about while we shoot these robotic seagulls. And the seagulls have landed. Now, once we get past these seagulls, we've got a slightly more uh, intimidating enemy to come. Please fly out the way, Falco. You're starting to get in my nerves now. Okay, we'll collect this shield and see how long we can keep it for. Probably not very long. Because we've got these giant Gyarados heads. I think they look like Gyarados anyway. I'm a quite a big... I'm, I like Pokemon, so um, we'll call them Gyarados. How many is there? And there we go, there goes the shield. Knew it wouldn't last. I was hoping it lasted a little bit longer though. Than it did. But alas, it didn't. As the fire breathing Gyarados uh, destroyers. More seagulls to get rid of. More comrades to save. There we go, go away. Slippy, just fly away. Just fly behind me. There's a good little frog. You'd think you'd like the water, being a frog, but um, clearly not. Okay, on to the last terrain, which is sand. Now, this uh, this terrain is more just about avoiding things rather than... Uh, actually, there's not much to shoot here, really. You just need to uh, kind of avoid what sprouts up. Which is easier said than done, as I've just demonstrated. <laughs> Managed to uh, get back. Managed to get back uh, into something like though. <clears throat> Took a bit of damage though, unfortunately. Right, speaking of Pokemon, we're now on the uh, boss battle. So we've faced a giant. Um, 
We faced a giant Gyarados. We're now going to face a giant Doduo. And already it's kicking my butt. <clears throat> but we'll see how we get on. I really don't like these boss battles where you have to break a lot. But basically the, the boss kind of stops and sort of flies towards the screen. I'm not a big fan at all of that. Please fly forward. I can actually shoot you. I need to get this done as quick as possible. I may fire an overbomb here. It may speed things up a little bit. Oh, there we go. We don't need to. We don't need to. So the giant, demented, demonstrative dodo is destroyed. And we'll do a celebratory barrel roll. Took a bit of, took a bit of hit there. Took a few hits, but it doesn't matter. Because that's stage three out the way. Hundred percent score, not that I'm bothered about the score, of course. As we now move on to stage number four. So we had sector X and Y on level two. We're now on to sector Z on level three, and as you'd expect, it is the trickiest of the three. And of course, because it's an outer space level, we're gonna go into this annoying first person mode, but we'll quickly come out of it. Eventually, there we go. Right, let's see how we get on here then. Sector Z. This can be a bit tricky, this one. So we'll see how we get on. And already we're needing to rescue somebody. No problem. If you really want to thank me, you can stop getting into trouble. And you can also fly behind me once I've saved you. That's uh, that's that's the uh, another thing you can do. Right, now despite the fact those uh, those blocks are clear... Uh, if you hit them, then uh, you take damage, basically. Uh, so any of these clear, any of the, any clear blocks that you see, they will hit you. So you need to avoid them. So we need to avoid these by going left, right, left. Then we stay left, and then we go right, and then we go left, and then we go right, and then we go left, and then we try and avoid the cross, and we do. So that was fun. Yeah, you think you could fly through those blocks, but you can't. So it's important to avoid them. Now, for some reason, when I get to this part of the uh, the stage, my uh, my game seems to run a bit slow. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because of what I'm playing this on, or if it just would do this anyway. Because I'm not I'm not playing this. Um, as you can see, there, it's not really helping. I'm not playing this on an original uh, SNES, which is why we've got the uh, the color changing border on the left and right side. Um, so I don't know if I did play it on an original SNES, if I wouldn't get the uh, the slowing down. I suspect I probably would still, because I think it's just basically, it's an old school game. And old school games can't handle a lot of moving parts on the screen all at once. But um, it can make it a little bit more difficult, having to judge your, uh, having to judge things when you're not going at full speed. But as we can see, we're not doing too bad of a job. And as soon as I say that... We get to this wonderful part of the level. These uh, random bars just flying at us. I don't know if shooting them makes any difference whatsoever, but that's what we're going to do. Please, can I just get through this bit? There we go. <sighs> Once again. Okay, didn't, I don't know when I did, but thanks anyway. There we go, that went well. Lost the shield, but actually still not in too bad of a position, to be honest, health-wise. Okay, the end of the stage already. So we try and avoid these blocks and, of course, fail miserably. Right, quite a short stage that one, isn't it? I say that, this boss battle may take a little bit longer than we want it to, but we'll find out. We've got a chance to uh, get a bit of a shield boost before we go into it. And we're about to see an old friend here, so so far we've seen, uh, we've seen new boss battles, but as I said, 
We're about to encounter an old friend here. If anyone can remember uh, level 1 stage 3, the Space Armada. We're about to uh, face something very, very similar. Because here we go. What is the ship doing? There we go. Right, so you try and take out these aerials at the side. And then take out the core. And I hate these. I hate those little eye things. Those little white things at the side. What What are they? I don't... I'm trying to use the word hate. As a lot of people, anyone that's familiar with the channel will know. But um, I... I'll reserve that word for those things, because they really do get on my nerves. Now that's one gone. And it just comes straight back, so that's annoying. That was nonsense. It's just quite tough. There's nothing really a lot to say at this point. It's just a case of... Try, trying to hit and not get hit. That's basically all we're doing at this stage. At this stage of the stage. Still got a decent amount of shield left, which is good. I do find it tougher when it's uh, when it's spinning the other way, not this way, the uh, the way it was spinning previously. Please go away, thank you. Oh, for Pete's sake, they're just relentless. These eye things, they really are irritating. There we go. It's one gone. As we spin back, I need to take out all three, which is going to be fun. I was hoping it would go far enough so I could shoot that one. But clearly not. Is that another one gone? We just got this one left. No, we haven't. Tempted to fire an overbomb here. I don't know if it speed things up or not. As that re regenerates annoyingly. Yeah, I find it tough when it's spinning this way. I mean, if it, when it is spinning this way, you can you can go to the side, which may may make it slightly easier. But I prefer to just stay at this one side and kind of bide my time. It doesn't appear to be uh, a particularly good tactic at this stage. Doesn't but again, it's running a little bit slowly. Please make it all the way around so I can actually shoot the. Uh, Shoot this bottom thing. I really, really need this core to open. Quickly. Please don't regenerate. Please. Come on, we're so close. I think we are. Why does it always stop where I can't? Just stops where I can't hit it and starts spinning the other way. Well, I'm amazed that we don't have the uh, the other ones kind of haven't sprung back up again. All right, I've done no damage to this thing so far. The only, the only time you can do damage when you open the middle. Please come all the way around. Please get all the way around. No, okay, don't then. Endless supply of those stupid eye things. Oh, this is fun. But needs must. Patience is a virtue. Other associated uh, sayings. It's got to regenerate soon, surely. You would imagine. It doesn't seem to be spinning as far for some reason. Come on, surely to goodness I'm going to hit this. There we go, finally. Right, let's blast it with an overbomb. Please, there we go. Ah, it took long enough, but we got there in the end. Just hit it with an overbomb just to speed things up a little bit. So that's stage four done, sector Z done. We've completed the, uh, completed the alphabet, so to speak. And on to stage number five. Oh, dearie me. 
as we head on towards Macbeth, which is as hospitable as it sounds and looks. 99%? Ah, oh, well. Good job I'm not bothered about the score, really, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so on to Macbeth, which looks, which looks a little bit like Titania. And I suppose plays like it in some ways. But unfortunately, it is a lot more challenging. And also, has a tendency to really run slow. So we're going to have to uh, have our wits about us here. I've said the first, I have to say the first time I did this level, um, I found it quite easy. And it lulled me in, because it's not easy. This is, this is not an easy level. Uh, but we'll see how we get on. We'll just give it our best shot, that's all we can do. Avoid these uh, big orange blocks, that's the first thing we need to do. Right, these things can be a little bit of a ball ache to uh, destroy. Managed to do it pretty quickly though. There we go. Rescued you again. Right, so if you could just stop getting into trouble, if you could just stop get encountering problems, that'd be fabulous. We could also get out of the way, that'd be great, because I've got a feeling, while I'm shooting you, I'm not shooting the uh, the enemy, which is uh, obviously not a good thing, because we need to destroy it as quick as we can. They take a bit of uh, take a bit of shooting these, uh, like hovercraft type things. And we all got there in the end. There's an opportunity to uh, get wing blasters here, not that we need them. But if you did need them, I think it's at the left hand side here of this block. If you look to the left now, you can see there they are, just in the middle of the uh, in the middle of the screen. I'm trying to avoid these. Uh, trying to avoid these. Uh, oh dear! I'm trying to avoid this lava if we can. There we go. Got the shield, which is good. We needed it. I'll say we needed it. Hopefully we won't need it, but no doubt we will. Right, get rid of those robots. And there we go. That's the checkpoint. So we're halfway through the level. So if we do get blown up, we'll reform at this stage. But hopefully we won't get blown up. That's not what we want to happen, of course. This level does get quite tough from this point on. Not that it was ever easy to begin with. It's okay. Now, how long can I keep this shield? Because the longer, the better. I wanted to state the obvious. I really need to try and uh, avoid these heat seekers the best I can. I think I've failed at the minute. I've lost the shield. That's not good. It's not the end of the world. Need to try and stay visible. No, don't hit me. There we go. Okay, on to the boss battle. This is quite a tough one. I have to say, this is this is one of the harder boss battles. Um, so we'll see how we get on. Doesn't hurt. Doesn't doesn't help when I'm getting hit when I really shouldn't be doing. Right, I need that shield. There we go. A little bit of a boost there. Right, so. I don't know what the hell's hitting me there, but something is. Have we got it? There we go. Ah. Just a case of button bashing and hoping on that one. If the, uh, the mic's picking up my button bashing, by the way, I've said this on quite a few videos on the channel, but uh, I don't have a slick sort of headset with a mic on that I can talk into. I've just basically got a microphone on a table that I'm uh, that I'm speaking into, and my uh, my hands are directly next to it. So if it is picking up the button bashing, then that is why. Yeah, that boss battle can be quite tough, because those grey balls at the end there, if you don't avoid them, which I don't quite know how you actually do avoid them, those grey balls can uh, can do quite a lot of damage. And speaking of grey balls, we're now on to Venom. So the final stage. Let's go. Let us begin. The final goal. Once again, we'll go into the first person mode. And once again, we'll come straight out of it. 
Okay, here we go. Here we go. There's really no strategy here. It's just a case of... This really is just button bashing, because the, uh, the enemies come, really do come thick and fast. So you just need to destroy them as quick as you can, basically. Before they, uh, before they get too many on the screen. Um, yeah, like I said, no, real, no strategy. Just blow them up as quick as possible. Obviously, it's a little bit easier with the... Uh, a little bit easier with the uh, the the, uh, the wing blasters. I have to say those those triangular things that fly up from the bottom. They are really really irritating. They just come at a weird angle. If you don't get them straight away, if you're not quite in line with them, they can uh, they will hit you. I ain't got time for this, Slippy. I really don't have time for it now. You're really gonna have to uh, sort your life out and stop getting into uh, stop getting into scrapes that I'm then having to save you from. And also, stop getting in the way because I'm sure. I'm sure when I'm shooting, I'm sure when I'm shooting Slippy, I'm not shooting the enemies. Uh, but I may be wrong on that one. Either way, though, we still got a full shield, which is nice. Right, can we try and get this Nova bomb back without taking too many too many hits? Yes, we can. We can also take the shield. As you can see, this this looks a lot quicker um, than the. Um, Sorry, Peppy, I'm trying to save you, buddy, but um, it's proving quite tough. It's a mob about me not getting hit. There we go. We saved you in the end. What are you complaining about? Right, if I can get to the end of this level, or the end of this stage, sorry, still with this shield, I'll be very, very pleased. And very, very surprised. Don't know how we're doing this, but we are, somehow. Is this ever going to end? I desperately hope so. Don't know if it's best of avoiding these triangles or trying to... Uh, or something's hit me, which is annoying. I know it's best of avoiding these triangles or just flying towards them to try and shoot them down. I always feel like they're going to hit me anyway, so I'm best off taking them head on. Uh, but I may be wrong on that one. Let's get rid of the triangle. More triangles. Plenty of triangles uh, on this uh, on this stage. There we go. Unfortunately, we lost the shield, but it doesn't matter too much. Okay, here comes the uh, the enemy battle, the boss battle. We want to call it. For some means you have to do this uh, formation ceremony to watch it f to watch it uh, to watch it become the uh, become the ship that it becomes. Unfortunately, you've got to avoid these yellow lasers. If they hit you, they will do damage to you. So you do have to uh, fly around them. Okay, there we go. Now, don't be fooled by this thing's short life bar. It is a bit of a pain, this battle. Um, it's not... It's not massively difficult, it's just more irritating. Unfortunately, I don't have five Nova Bombs. I'm not them too bothered. Was anything to get past that Macbeth boss as quick as possible was worth it. So for this one, obviously you have to shoot the um, you have to shoot these these very small flaps that are open on the sides. As I said, the um, the energy bar is a bit misleading. It looks really small. Well, it, that's because it is really small, but it, it's not a very easy it's not an easy battle. This one can be a bit of a grind, but we'll see how we get on. We shall see how we do. This is how we do. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> but I'm not in a rush, which is a good job. <laughs> I'm not after a... Uh, this isn't a speed run. So I'm not... I'm not under... Uh, not really bothered how long this takes. As long as we get it... As long as we get the job done. Which we will eventually. Chipping away slowly but surely. Does get more difficult. I mean, it's already looking pretty difficult. Because I, I can't hit it. But um, it does get more challenging. Hmm, not looking good. Not much to say at this point, really. <laughs> not really sure. What the, I'm not really sure what the uh, what the tactic is here. Um, I think sometimes I think sometimes moving laterally across like that is the is the best way to go. But um, doesn't appear to be. 
just need to keep avoiding the uh, yellow lasers if we can. Although I don't actually think they do any damage. I think they just kind of knock you off course. Not that I want to uh, take the chance, of course, to find out. Ah, oh, dearie me. Come on. We can do this. Not sure how long it's going to take, but we can do it. And we will do it. There doesn't seem to be any consistency with the uh, way the flaps are opening, unless it's just me. They seem to be opening uh, different ones, so you open it at different times each time. Don't want to fly too close to the ship and fly into it. That would just be a waste of uh, shield. I really want to try. And, I really need to preserve this shield as long as I can, um, because this will get tougher. We will eventually get to a point where it gets tougher. But we're not quite there yet, as you can see. Still uh, chipping away, doing what we can. Don't seem to be able to hit it from distance. That's the problem. You seem to need to. You seem to. You seem to need to be quite close to it. I'm not throwing. No I'm not throwing Nova bombs yet either. Um, we will probably uh, break them out at some point, but not yet. I'll have to say, given the uh, the steady progress we've made so far, maybe uh, it might be worth thinking about it. There we go. That's one gone. So one down, five to go. 16.6 .6 recurring percent gone, I think. Whatever it is, whatever one six is as a... Uh, as a percentage, I don't know. I'm really running out of things to say at this point. There's not a lot to really, uh, not a lot I can really say. I could start singing, but I'm not going to do that because I actually want some people to watch this video. And ain't no one got time to listen to me sing. I've, well, I've, I've sung Doctor Octagon, so if you like spurious rap, as I said, and you've had your, uh, you've had your fix from me. All right, come on, let's do this. We can do this. I'm confident we can do this. Not like that, we can't, though. Oh, dear. Slow and steady wins the race. How is that missing? Like, seriously, how is that missing? I don't know. Even with the wing blasters as well. Still, uh... Still missing. There we go, that's another one gone. So two down now, four to go. I think they're on the right hand side as well. Don't know if it's better off to uh, take out one side. Or do it, try and do it evenly. I'm not quite sure what the, uh, the best tactic is. Just whatever works, really. I can already see, though, it's less than, got less than half life left. This is why I said don't be fooled by the, the short energy bar. Because um, this one will take a while. Ooh, there we go. That was a big. That was a good one. Well, unfortunately, now it's smoking. It's now going to start firing heat seekers at us, and that's the problem. And this is why I wanted to save the. Uh, this is why I wanted to save the. Uh, the Nova bombs, for when it got to this stage. So we really need to avoid these, because if they hit us. They will do a lot of damage. So we just need to be a little bit careful here. Which of course we are being. Right, how many is left? Is it three or two? It's two, isn't it? I don't know how we avoided that, but we did. Okay, I think it may be time for Nova Bombs at this stage. But we'll see how we get on. He's trying to laterally drift towards the side where the uh, the open flaps are. Because the, the problem with these Nova Bombs is, you need to... They don't hit from a distance, you need to be really close. But obviously, the main thing you need to do is avoid these Heat Seekers, which is which makes it quite difficult. Now we've wasted that one. Ah, oh dear. Got a bit impatient there. So I ended up wasting that. Right, come on. We can do this. 
we can do this. I think that hit, did it? Don't know. How many Nova ones got there? Three. I really don't want to use them all up here. I want to try and have at least... I, mean, well, I was hoping to have three left, but... Um, certainly want two left, just in case. Did we miss that there? I think we hit, we're hitting something. I think the energy bar is going down ever so slowly. Now, how many's left and where, where are they? That's the key thing. I don't know. Really, I'm running out of things to say <laughs> at this stage. At least, at least saying, at least saying, I'm running out of things to say is giving me something to say. So, with every cloud, just got clipped there. Come on, don't throw this away. Because if you get a full-on smack with those heat seekers, they they basically kill you. So we just need to really do need to be careful here. Maybe I'm being too careful, but I don't really know another way, uh, I don't really know another way of doing this. Other than being extremely cautious like we are being. But it is making it tough, obviously. I've really got to mast, I've really got to time those Nova Bombs though and aim them as well. It's not just about the timing, it's more about the aim. There's two on that side. Okay, there are still three things up. There's still three, I think. I need to try and hit that right-hand side if I can. If I can get this left-hand side done with normal bullets, I can hopefully do the uh, the right-hand side with a bomb. Oh, dear me, come on. I'm trying to save the uh, trying to save the bombs, which is not really uh, maybe the wrong thing to do. Oh, I think I hit something there. I think I hit something. So we've definitely got less life. I think there's just two left now. There's one at the uh, the front the front left as you look at it, and the back right as you look at it. I think they're the only two that's left. But I may be wrong on that one. How long is this? How long is this battle? What? How long was this video when I started this battle? I have no idea. I literally have no idea. Ah, oh, dear me, playing it a bit too safe. We will go for the Nova Bomb eventually. We need to be absolutely sure it's going to hit. Because we can't afford too many misses. There we go. Just timed it perfectly. So after all that, we got there in the end, we'll do a celebratory barrel roll, but much like all the Venom levels on this game, they are in two, uh, two parts, so that's stage six out the way. So we're now on to lucky stage number seven. At least let's hope it's lucky for us. 97%, <clears throat> don't think I uh, really deserve that, all that extra credit, but we got it. So stage seven, here we go. Right, so the start of this stage is to just fly to the top of the screen and we'll avoid uh, we'll avoid all these concrete pillars. Although there is one at the end we're going to have to uh, fly around. We'll get to that. We'll worry about that when we get there. There we go. And now, we need to try and avoid these if we can. Easier said than done, of course. But we'll try. So we need to get that shield if we can, which we did. There we go. Took a bit of a hit, but we managed to get through. So that's all good. Right. Red towers this time, rather than blue ones. You can shoot them, but sometimes it's easier to just to uh, fly around them, because if you shoot them, they fall over like that, which makes it a little bit trickier. There we go. Shoot that. Get the shield, get a bit of a boost. And shoot you as well, that'd be great. Or you even, or anything. Can we shoot anything? There we go. Right, have to avoid these giant walls. And you can actually shoot them, so you can get them to uh, open up the way you want them to. Have 
you go to an extreme position. Oh, that was bad. How have I still got the shield after that? I have no idea, but I have. So I ain't complaining. So I've just flown into a, uh, a giant wall. Don't quite know I uh, don't quite know I have lost haven't lost the shield there, but I ain't complaining. I want to try and kill this giant hovercraft thing. As I said, they are quite they can be quite irritating and take a while to blow up. There we go. Okay. When are those blocks going to start appearing? More heat-seeking towers. More banes of my life. Here come the uh, the blocks. If you stay... Ah. If you stay in the air, they are easier to uh, navigate round than on the ground, believe it or not. That was a bad one. You still getting chased? Yes, you are. There we go. We'll save you. Okay, here we go. The final boss. Shortly, once we've shot these three things down, or not got shot, or whatever. There we go. Right, the final boss. Well, not quite, because we've got to. We've got to still go. We've still got to face Andros. So not quite the final boss. Okay, here we go. This is just button, button bashing at its best, hopefully here. As this bottom thing opens up, we try and just take it out as quick as we can. Before we start getting hit with these cannonball type things. Come on. Come on, what's it what's it doing? There we go. Right, now as always, with any boss battle it seems to develop change into something else. Once again we need to break, which makes it rather irritating. But then bits break off and you have to shoot them. Like so. Please, please stop. Please stop flying towards the screen. That'd be amazing if you could do that. Trying so desperately here to do this. There we go. Right, just Andros left. Bit of a grind that last boss, but it doesn't matter. As we go into the tower, I have to say, getting to Andros is quite can be quite tough, but um, a few little obstacles here we're gonna have to get through. But we'll see. How we get on? Your choice of routes took me by surprise. Yep, you're not the only one, buddy. It's took me by surprise as well, but um, we've managed to get there somehow. That's all that matters. Is that we've made it. Don't quite know how, but we have. Ooh, yeah, that was a bad one. As was that. Ooh, dear, keep clipping things here. Wasting shield there, that was that was poor. Anyway, we got there in the end. So, the Andros battle, here we go. Slightly different to the level 1 and 2 Andros battles, only slightly though. Still got to uh, basically shoot its eyes out while it fires these block things at you, so just keep moving to the side. You should hopefully avoid them. I don't know if you can get sucked into its mouth or not, but um, you, um, yeah, I don't, know, I don't know if you can, but I, I always break at that point. Again, I don't know if you need to or not, but um, I think it's worth doing just in case. There we go. Right. And unfortunately, that's not the end of the, uh, not the end of the fun. To shoot this box until it turns red, which hopefully it will quickly. There we go. And again, it's not the end of the fun. Because he comes back and changed into this devil type thing. So this is going to be a fun one now. So the key here is really, again, avoid the heat seeker. So just try and move. Keep moving. Just keep moving left to right if you can. Doing barrel rolls. Just hoping that you hit the eyes. Uh, you have to shoot the eyes, of course. 
Um, and hopefully don't get hit by those wooden things that are flying at you. Although you, you're best off getting hit by those than the heat seekers. I wonder if it's worth throwing a bomb here at this point. Go on, let's throw one. Why not? Can't do any harm. Is it that one eye gone? Is that one eye gone? I believe it is. Is that both eyes gone? There it is. So just the box now. So if we throw a bomb on the box, it should hopefully blow it up. And there we go. Oh my goodness me, after all that, after all that button bashing, all that pain. Oh, there we are. Star Fox completed the final chapter. There's no extra bit where you have to follow your father out and fly, uh, follow him flying like you do on uh, Star Fox 64. And I managed to get all the way through that ep uh, all the way through that episode without calling the game Star Wing. So uh, that was a bit of an achievement as well. And I don't quite know how my voice is held up. I don't know if you can uh, tell how hoarse I am. But I'm so relieved that's over. Mainly because my voice is hoarse. And mainly because uh, I'm actually recording this on Christmas Eve uh, 2020. Um, which is a Thursday. And I've had an ulcer. I know it's a, a, lovely, th a lovely thought. But I've had a mouth ulcer. Since um, since last Tuesday, so I've had a mouth ulcer for like nine days. So I'm so glad I don't have to talk anymore. <laughs> or at least not much more, anyway. Oh man, the relief that that is over. So there we go. This, if anyone's uh, watched my level one playthrough, you'll know how uh, how unlikely it was that I was ever going to uh, go through this game and complete. Uh, Complete level 3, but complete level 3 we have. So that is Star Fox completed. So level 1, 2 and 3 all now up on the channel. In fact, I'm probably going to turn it into a little playlist. I may even stick the uh, Star Fox 64 uh, run through that I did on the playlist as well. 200% level, so that's uh, pretty good. Not that I'm bothered about the score, as I keep saying. But let's see what it is anyway. 658, we'll take that. An average of... 90, over 90, nearly 95% per level. Ah, not too bad that, say I wasn't bothered about the score. Oh my goodness me. Right, we'll wait for the, uh, wait for the closing video to start. And then uh, I'll begin signing off. Nothing else to do now other than enjoy this wonderful, triumphant music. So we get this closing video now which is going to show you all the uh, the enemies that we've uh, destroyed and how big they are and what their specialities, etc. Ah, Destructor. Maybe it's not the battle carry then. Maybe that's why uh, Falco didn't help me because he, <laughs> he, he... What the actual battle carry was, he went to destroy that. I don't know. I don't really care either. One thing I do know though is... 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 Is is that is the end of the episode so we've now completed and it's the end of this game as well we've completed Star Fox now all three levels on the channel if you enjoyed this video then please like and share the video you can also leave a comment on the video should you so desire please let me know how you get rid of a, how you get rid of a mouth ulcer that'd be absolutely fantastic if you could tell me that also tell me why the sea is blue anything else you want to do ah dod do, 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 dora sounds a bit like sounds a bit like dodo doesn't it uh, yes, yeah, so if you're going to uh, do that, like, share the video, leave a comment, then feel free to do that. Also, if you head on over to the channel, The Uncommentator, you'll find plenty of other games that I've played through, including, as I've mentioned several times, uh, Star Fox completing the game using the level 1 and level 2 path. Uh, so if you, if you want to check out the full playlist, if you haven't already, then please go and do that. You'll also find Star Fox 64 and plenty of other games on plenty of other consoles on the channel. Ah, but I've got myself, I've given myself an early Christmas present. As I said, it's Christmas Eve, 2020 at time of recording. And I've given myself an early Christmas present by completing Star Fox. I think that's all that needs to be said. Uh, we'll wait till Andros appears on the screen and then we'll um, end this video because it is getting rather long. If anyone is still watching at this point, first of all, thank you. Other than Dr. Octagon, of course, who we know is watching. So if you are still watching, then uh, I am very, very grateful. This was the penultimate boss before the Andros battle. It looks quite similar to the uh, the previous one, doesn't it? The Great Commander. The Great Commander with his iron balls. He did start firing his iron balls, actually, but uh, we managed to combat them. 
And there's Andros sucking things into his mouth. Not the iron balls, though. He doesn't suck them in, thankfully. Um, anyway, on that on that note, I think it is time to... Uh, what am I talking about? It is time to, uh, to end the episode. So as I said, if you want to like, share the video, please do that. Head over to the channel, find plenty of other videos, leave a comment. All the things you can do in 2020, or probably 2021 by the time uh, this video gets onto uh, YouTube. I'll probably still have this mouth ulcer as well uh, by that point. Anyway, this is going on far too long, so we'll sign off now. So join me next time. I don't know what game it's going to be, but whenever, it's, whenever it is, I'm sure it'll be equally as fun as this game was. But until we get to that point, for now, it is from me. Merry Christmas, and it is sayonara.